So when you say you stand with Israel, you're saying you support murdering kids, like murdering thousands of kids. I'm half Jewish. I was married to um, a Palestinian um, for 18 years. Uh, it's, it's not okay to do it what they did. It's not okay to go in and flatten Gaza. It's not okay what the United States did, right, necessarily, yeah. in, in Iraq, right? It wasn't effective. You stand with Israel? I'm not gonna change your mind. Palestine in itself, like, people say that it's a war, but I think it's a genocide. Because there's two million people living in that area and they don't even have a right to defend themselves. Just think about how many lives the Palestinians have lost. You can't just wipe them all out. So why don't you want to change my mind? Why should I? I think it's a good thing. That they're killing innocent civilians? In which other war do you know where innocent was killed? This is not war, this is a genocide. War. What if there's a war happening in New York City right now? Yeah. And kids are dying, you won't care? Yes. Even if there were weapons of mass destruction and even if they were harboring terrorists, it's like you don't go in and kill 100,000 people, which is what happened, right? In this is a genocide. Is a genocide what happened October 7th? <laughs> October 7th? What about what happened October 8th? Do you what about consider, October 9th? Do you what about October 10th? Are you gonna consider it? What about 1948? What about 1955? How the fuck you stand on Israel when they're killing innocent babies and bombing hospitals? You're asking me a question, so I'm telling you. What, what question did I ask you? What question did I ask you? So you're not asking me a question? They shouldn't kill innocent, innocent civilians. Oh, you I'm you losing brain talk. cells. No, you're not letting me talk. You're not letting, you can talk again. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. You're, you're a Zionist, that's why. You're a Zionist. You're a Zionist. You're a Zionist. Yeah. It's Israel's fault. You should stand with Palestine. No. It's not about Hamas, it's about Palestine. Palestine is fine once they get rid of It's not fine. Terrorists. But you can't gotta kill 30,000 people for... And you can't mutilate, rape, and kill people either. You oh think my it's God. The yeah, read the actual newspaper. Take care. Yeah. Read the newspaper. The newspaper's fake. Uh -huh. The newspaper's fake. The Palestinians have died in the soldier. last four months and they have throughout this entire, the last few wars. I understand. And most of them are kids. If you I look at the population of Gaza, nothing. their population is two million have, and a majority of them are children who don't even have kids. I understand, kids. but do you agree with me that Hamas is a problem? I, I agree with you. Okay, I don't think, so but I also think you're ground. not, you're also not looking at it from a logical approach. And you have to look at what Hamas, like, Hamas started for created. a reason. It wasn't. A lot, let me tell you, honestly, from an Israeli perspective, a lot of the Palestinians are suffering under Hamas's rule and Israel as the IDF has been trying to get all as many civilians out of the area by killing them. Yeah, no, but in the hospital I think another thing I when I talk to Israelis you're like the only first one I've ever talked to that wants to have a civil conversation. I work in a predominantly predominantly Israeli Jewish area and a lot of them shut down those conversations because they're they always say the same things. October 7th. What about October 7th? Hamas. Yeah, we can talk or, about we can talk about all the other wars that happened before. It's but not even about Israel the other was wars. at a ceasefire. We've had wars before, and 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 Israel has had come to a point where we were living in peace with both sides. But I don't but think you guys have peace. tried to live in peace because you. What about the settlements? Like those, you can't explain those. You can't just but say those. Gaza was a prison. But the settlements. Guys, made it this it's an open air prison. The settlements are 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 off topic right now because but why I is really it don't off think they are. Can, can I explain to you to why though? Because well, a lot of Palestinians welcome the Jews, and that's a, that's a historical fact. I mean, if you look in general, at, my my grandpa was born and raised in Israel. One of them, one yeah, of four. Of so he had been living but in Israel. But the point I want to make to you British. though is because I don't really want to focus on how the Jews got there, I want to focus on their actions in Palestine right now. I, mean, I don't think that the extermination of a Jewish state is a logical solution right now, but I don't think saying that, oh, Gaza is not being oppressed by Israelis or the I West mean, Bank Gaza is Gaza isn't controlled. I mean, Israel took out their forces in 2006. Do you know that? Do you know? Israelis but the bombings, the hospital there. bombings specifically, I feel like I mean, a lot of Israelis... Was but if, if, it do you mind actually, if I finish yeah, my sentence? Yeah, you can finish. What do you yeah. mean by debunked? No, it but that hasn't been debunked because a lot Israeli. of Israelis have, and actually the Israeli news have been saying how, oh yeah, they had the tunnels underneath, but a lot of those hospitals didn't, and you have to think about the children that have been dying. I know no that a hospital in Israel was also bombed. But see, you but can't, Israel, the conversation Israel can't continue hospitals. if it's like, be like, oh, but Hamas also did that's, this, or Hamas. But I'm Gaza trying, barely has any more. One is. I'm not arguing with you, so you don't have to be defensive. I'm just. Trying I know, to have I know, a but I think what I'm trying to say though is that, like, think about it like this: the conversation can't be, "Oh, this is happening in Palestine," and then you tell me what's happening in Israel. If the what I'm trying to say though is that, like, 
when that when we go back and forth between oh but Israel did this Hamas did this this that's not that's not a fluid conversation that's just a who did the worst that's I an know, oppression you're Olympics just, you're, just, you're saying Israel is doing something horrible by bombing hospitals but what is it supposed to do when it's being I'm, bombed by hospitals its hospitals are being bombed well, logistically how many hospitals have been bombed in Israel and how many have been bombed in Palestine and just first of look all, at this. first of all the bombing of the Al Shifa hospital in Gaza was actually a a bomb that Hamas was trying but to But that is hasn't been proven. That has been has. proven. We have and videos. actually when I we have looked at the footage I can show you. But there was a, specifically the press that went there and did the investigation themselves. Even CNN, I remember a news reporter went the there. The New York Times actually came out with an article that said that it, it wasn't true. They they accidentally immediately wrote an article that Israel bombed the hospital and then they the Israel the IDF did an investigation and sent them the video which is actually publicly posted. You can find it online. Of course. And the, the New York Times went back on what they said. But I think a lot of what's happening right now also have to do with the settlements. A lot of Palestinians are kind of enraged by the fact that not only has a lot of their land been taken, and I'm sorry, I know we that kind of terminology is kind of can be offensive to Israelis, but a lot of their land has been taken. Taken and, by who though? The UN after the war decided. To but do why did the UN solution? get to decide what to do with that land? The Palestinian people against the small nation of Israel in 1948 is not a fair war. So so. Thank God that America was willing to lend a handout and give some but money for why? some weapon trade. Why did, I think, why but my America main issue is I kind of, I, I understand where you're coming from. I understand where, I truly do. But I think what kind of bothers me is though, I, I keep going back to the fact that a European nation decided what to do with the land of Palestine. I don't think any of that justifies taking away more from the Palestinians because I mean, no because the, to take of course, away and I'm not, but, I'm not the best person. I think I'm coming from this again from a humanitarian approach. I just think, on a scale, it's outweighed. I think Israelis have way more defense, have way more power than Palestinians do. I mean, it's actually, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with Iran that. Iran yeah. and Hezbollah and all of these other countries that are also. But fighting. if you really cared, if Israelis care for Palestinians so much. I think you guys would also never, because I also don't agree. I think if Muslim nations wanted to help Palestine, they would not be helping fund Hamas or those areas. They would go in there and they would help make houses, help get water in there and stuff. But I think my problem is Israelis aren't even doing I mean, that. They are. I mean, for I, I actually have friends that their job in the IDF was to bring humanitarian aid into Gaza. They would drive over the border every time, bringing water, supplies. Israel has tried to give and make Palestine and Gaza a a place where the economy could grow. I'm so, jumping in. I'm sorry. Really? Yeah. I, I seen a lot of videos of like like kids in Palestine like dying and Israel like the IDF they just bomb like random places. Honestly. Um, Israel is trying to defend itself again. So they're gonna defend itself by killing thirty thousand civilians. 30, by killing. Yeah, they killed 30,000 civilians. Those, and again, my argument is uh, most of those are children. Like, they're not even adults. Yeah, they're not they're even killing innocent they're children. Do you know that Hamas is trying to Th keep This is not about not Hamas. This is, this is about, yeah. I don't want to no, hear the human no, shield argument yeah. either because that's not about Hamas. No, you don't kill innocent civilians because of no, Hamas. Israeli soldiers have been trying to get Palestinian civilians over to the Rafa border, and there's actually video footage of Hamas soldiers shooting them down, not letting them, not letting them cross over. That is not fair. Hamas is not being fair to the Palestinian people. What Israel is doing is trying to eradicate Hamas, trying to eliminate them so that the, the Palestinian people can live freely. And trust me, if you would be able to go speak to a Palestinian person in Gaza right now, they would tell you that Hamas is the problem. Hamas no, th I'm going to jump in. So you're saying Israel can defend itself by killing 30,000 innocent civilians. That's not what I said. But that's, that's what they did. That's a f No, that's a fact. No, no, that's a fact. That's what they... That's I, I'm not talking about that. I was no. talking about Israel helping Palestine. They don't help. They don't help Palestine. But uh, what I was going to say next... I yeah. I didn't say... I didn't say... Because there's, there's actual videos of, like, kids, like, being burnt, but you know? I didn't say that. I didn't say that any of that is just... No, no, I know, but, but I'm saying... That Hamas is not allowing... Yeah, but this Israel isn't really about Hamas. Exit. The yeah, see, I understand, again, I understand, but you keep making the argument about Hamas. I'm talking about Israel's actions. It can't be, Israel is doing this and okay. it's, it has to do something with Hamas. I think a lot of it okay, is... Do you know that 
there's there's 136 hostages still left in Gaza right now. But if you've seen a lot of those hostage videos, a can lot I of help you, can I help you? Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. Like the thing is, he's not saying you're wrong. It's just like it's it's kind of an acknowledgement because you. I he, do acknowledge. I did say that it so, is horrible. So what, but acknowledging it actually is it's like horrible. is like stopping. And like he's saying, like there, there have been like uh, newscasts about like all these people dying in Gaza because of Israel bombing. Okay, so like you you can either like believe that or not. But like I the, didn't say I don't believe it. I said that it's yeah, very. Yeah, I'm not sad. saying I'm not saying that that's what you're saying. I'm saying like he's I'm saying that this is the situation is that uh, uh, that people are dying because Israel is bombing, and that's like and that's horrible, right? You agree with that? That's like it's a horrible situation. I, I just don't see a different way to eradicate Hamas, who is who but, is ruining and he's not, the Palestinians. And he's not talking about eradic eradicating Hamas. And he's also, how, how do we how do we get the 136 people that were taken out of their beds? Can I can I say so my point now? How do we get them back? So what is the way? It's not so. It's 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 both. You have to be able to to breathe into the into this moment of like him because I I feel like he's been listening to you for a very long time and he really gave space to like the pain that Israel and like the hostages and the fact that Hamas is being uh, terrorizing for a very long time and there's like wait like give a moment to the fact that like Israel like Netanyahu and you know Israel is like this this is very complicated but Israel uh, has decided like a military action that has cost like thousands of lives and this is horrible and we need to like acknowledge it and the Palestinians didn't even get a say in what happens I mean, to their land the Jews. like I said like you just agreed with me but that's not true because by the time Zionism had come and there were already people moving to the land of Palestine the British mandate of Palestine Zionism had already established that they wanted a country in Israel they had already voiced that and Palestinians said no we don't want that we want our own land and and that's what the United Nations offered in 1948, a two-state solution. But why, Why can I ask you this, why couldn't Jews live underneath a full Palestinian state? Why did it have to be two different states? Why did you personally need a full Jewish state? Because I don't why see, the, I agree that, with then you. Then I can back that up to you, why did the Palestinians But most state? of the Jews Everyone, that lived there had already identified as Palestinian. They had identi identified and as, that's a fact. As, under, as Palestinians living under the British rule of the British Parliament. But Palestinian, but I can say the same about the Arabs. They were just Arabs living underneath the Palestinian mandate. But the Palestinian identity has already existed. Just like if we go to Lebanon, if but you go I'm to not, Syria. I'm not saying the Palestinian identity does not exist. That's not what I'm saying. Okay, but I'm, I'm saying, saying that a two-state solution was offered for each each nation to have. But their I understand. Own. You see why yeah, Palestinians? Sure you guys should not have a quick question. <laughs> but you see why Palestinians might be like, hey, this is kind of unfair because we've already been living in this but land. What about the Jews that, like my grandpa, who was but already again, living in the land? Why couldn't you live underneath the? That's it. I think that's a very valid question to ask because what problem would there have been to live underneath a full Palestinian state where both Jews and Arabs are fully Palestinian? You know that there are two million um, Arabs living in Israel right now. And they are living okay, but a that's, very, that's a not my point. I'm asking you, my point is, why couldn't Jews live underneath a Palestinian state? Because the United Nations in 1948 And why divided, did the United decided, Nations get because, to decide that? Because Britain left, they, they took their forces but out see, of again, the But see, again, this goes Parliament. back to my point. Europeans constantly get to decide what happens to land that doesn't belong to them. Palestinians were already native to the land. They're indigenous to that land. So are Jews. And okay, so are can you define to me Christians. what indigenous means now? that for history and history the no 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 i'm asking this is for, not to for, jump you for, or make no, like for offend years you and years before the the people were living there right no that's not true because so indigenous means to have a state of living underneath colonialism so instance would you consider what? french that's people indi what indigenous means. okay indigenous means native american when you think of indigenous you think of people like native americans the polynesians um aboriginals right okay now. no but i'm telling you I'm what the definition the of indigenous is from the un from the united nations if we want to go back to the united nations the un strictly defines it as people had lived in a land prior to colonialism and the Israeli is a colonial state it's, it's as a result of colonialism is it not um, again I'm not gonna define this in these words but I define Zionism for you and now I'm asking you to clearly define what indigenous means being I'm native and being indigenous are not necessarily correlated indigenous is a there, specific term they've lived there for years and years right right Can you agree with me that Jews Muslims and, and Christians have lived in the land for years but and years religion before? aside I'm talking about Palestinians in general
do you consider Palestinian people indigenous? They have lived there in years and years before, yes, it's true. Right. My point is, Palestinian culture has only one identity, one origin. It's from Palestine. So what is your option for the Jews to just all leave and do another No, diaspora? I don't think that's a very viable option because I think there's a historical reason why they came to that land. No, My point but, is, I mean, why couldn't they... They come to the land because there was Jews living there already. Right, I'm talking about the Jews who weren't... Do you agree with me that some Palestinians stay live in other countries other than Israel? Right, but there's a reason they live in that country. Okay, and there is a reason that other Jews don't live in Israel. And there is a reason that other Jews left but that, Israel. But the thing is, you guys have an option now. Palestinians don't. They either get to live in... What do you yeah, mean, they have gonna, an option? I was going to okay, say, I'm half, half Jewish. Jewish. I'm half Jewish. I was married to a Palestinian for 18 years. Okay. Okay, my father-in-law... I can go to Israel and live there way before my father-in-law could, right? And he left Ramallah in 1948, or 47 actually, when he was a young man. But Israelis don't just to get to come to America and get citizenship either. No, but I'm but just saying it's, it's easier for me as a Jew, or, or considered Jewish, right? I am from an ethnic point of view, right? I, my DNA is half Jewish. I can go there easily, but other people can't, so I don't know. Um, that is like an immigration talk, yeah. issue. Um, but I don't think that Israelis could just show up in every other country and be like, hey, give me But I can show up, right? I could only go to Israel. I can't go to Syria. I'm Syrian. I can't go to Syria. Right. I can't go to Egypt. I can't go to Israel. My daughter is Syrian. That's not true. I, 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 I can't go there. It literally, yeah. my last name is Kohen. Yeah. If they see my passport, yeah. Who knows? Like, it's, I can literally No, right, of course. It's there. not a friendly country okay, to so that's Jews. Or, no, it's I, not a friendly so country. Yeah. People, I have an Israeli passport. I cannot enter any, any of... I cannot enter right. Malaysia. I cannot enter Iraq. No, I understand. I cannot enter Iran. I cannot enter... I can... The list goes on. I mean, Once anybody who watches the news knows what yeah. the issue is. But, yeah. you know, I mean, you're talking about 30,000 people. Yeah. I understand. It's really sad that lives are being lost. But unfortunately, no, it's more than sad, sad, right? I don't know, but you don't do it by flattening what did, Gaza, yeah. Gaza, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that, right. Yeah, it's just impossible. What's that? What did America do with Iraq? Yeah, but that doesn't America justify. America did the wrong thing in Iraq. Yes, and exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but unfortunately, it was a lie. Uh, unfortunately, I agree with that. Unfortunately, Israel was dragged into a war that they didn't even want in the No, first I understand. Place. I, I agree with you. I agree with you that Israel has been attacked multiple times in its history. Not multiple okay? times, actually. Every single war that I, has, has happened in Israel was I get not it. I'm, I'm not saying that Israel it, doesn't it, defend it, itself, right? It, 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 it's obviously so defense. It but it's Our, an out. We have 136 people still in Gaza. What are they supposed to do? You, you, you're, you're, not, you're not supposed to kill 30,000 civilians. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't get them out of there by flattening Gaza. It just doesn't work. It's not effective. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been back already. I'm all for getting the hostages back, of course. Nobody says they deserved it. They were innocent people. you stripped out of your bed one Saturday morning. Wait, I am finishing my sentence, I already agree with you. It's all bad. Would you expect your government to do nothing? I would have not expected, to go all right, in there and if you want to go there, I would have expected my government to protect me and not allow these people to come over the border in the first place. Yeah. What sucks. happened to the shield? What, what happened to Iron that? Dome? Yeah. What do you mean Iron Dome? They, they, they yeah, trampled yeah. the border. Why were there missiles coming? It's not missiles. People trampled the border. Where was the IDF not guarding the border? Why weren't they there? They killed the IDF. <laughs> they shot the cameras and shot the soldiers and took tractors There and should have been more people it. there, more IDF. Sadly, but what can we say? They, they should never have let them come in, uh, honestly. That is that is ridiculous that you're How saying that. How is that, that. ridiculous? Because it, terrorists it's, it's, entered our country. They shouldn't have been allowed to enter your, the, your country. They are allowed. That is why there is a border. <laughs> Israel has one of the most powerful armies in the and world, right? It's a nuclear a country, for, for Christ's sake. This, this why are you arguing for, for your government have, saying that it, it, they did the right thing? Well, can't you just stand up and say Netanyahu sucks and he screwed up?